pure cutting current, we will enter into the cis cavity and we're in. And you can see that very nicely. And we will now immediately deploy the proximal, I'm sorry, the distal flange. There's a safety pin here that we will release and we will unlock hub number two. We will deploy the distal flange. Push this down a little bit more so you can see it better. And it will click in a moment. And there you see very nicely the distal flange right here. The distal flange is fully deployed. Uh, we can snug it up just a tad like arch. And uh, you will see a black mark in just a moment. There it is. Once you see that black mark, you can now deliver the proximal flange. Just pull back like this. And there the proximal flange has delivered and we'll push it out by pushing the uh, stent out. And you can see it's immediately draining right now. We can disconnect the cautery, of course. And uh, we see the stent beautifully deployed and draining. So the whole procedure was done in literally a couple minutes. A beautiful cannulae freestyle. It's a short saddle. It, it's going in very smoothly. I think it's in far enough. We can start to dilate. We will dilate up to 50. Dilate again. There we go. This is better. This is better. So we're dilating up to 15. That looks very good. And let's now dilate up to 16 and a half. Good. Go down now, please. So we have dilated the stent lumen. We'll pull the balloon out. We will switch scopes now for a gastroscope. We're now tipping up. There's the fluid collection. You can see some of the necroses inside. And I'm trying to gently maneuver myself through the axial stent. Here we are, we're going in. You can see the necroses at the bottom. That's what we saw early meters. There it is. Okay, pull the wire back, please. Pull the wire back. The tip will coil up inside of it. You can see it beautifully right there. We want to get it nice and deep in there. The idea is to sort of irrigate those pockets in the back where there's more necrosis. So we're actually very strategically placing the nasal cystic catheter where we optimally want it. Now we'll pull back like this, all under endoscopic guidance. No fluoroscopy needed. And I'm doing a one-to-one, -one, pulling back the scope and 